The weapons that were most used at the time, and, and you have to remember it's 400 years that the Romans here, were here, so things like some of the swords actually changed with the style of fighting changing, but every soldier would have had a dagger and they would have worn that so probably when they were in, dressed in armour and in civilian dress. So the dagger would have been the most important thing and that would have been housed in a sheath, either of wood or metal uh, or leather to actually protect them. The Romans were very effective. Um, in part, that's down to how well trained they were. Um, the Roman army was a professional, paid, permanent standing army. That's actually quite unusual in the ancient world. Uh, traditionally, people had formed armies in the summer when it was time to go out and fight the enemy, disbanded them when it was time to go and get the crops in, and then formed a new one the next year. The Romans are not unique, but unusual in actually having a permanent army so that you get professional soldiers who are soldiers all year round and for probably 25 years of their life. That means they are much, much better trained than any other army. It also means they develop very good weaponry, knowledge of how to use it, and the Roman weapons were very effective. Well, they were fairly efficient. I mean, the Roman army was um, a very good fighting army. The, the weapons that they had, they used to the best extent. But saying that, they did actually borrow some types of armour, especially the swords, from some other people, uh, from different sort of um, tribes who had particular slashing type swords. They then started adopting that sort. But that uh, was as, you know, as the military um, battles sort of changed in shape. Well, they had to make all their weapons because there was nowhere to buy them. So you actually had an armourer as part of the Roman army who would actually make weapons and would repair them as well because they recycled them a lot. So you would have had metal workers, basically, who could actually forge the steel. And it was a steel-like iron that they made. It was a high carbon content and they would have actually been able to forge the blades. And then they added sort of things like bone handles, which they might have, might have made themselves, or they might have actually got a, someone who could fashion bone to make for them. Iron was available in Britain uh, in the sort of weald of Kent. You could actually get iron ore, and they were able to make iron from that. Um, other areas would have had more difficulty, perhaps, in getting iron. Bone was an easy source, because they just used animal bone rather than the plastics that we're very used to today.